The Ilyas Shahi dynasty was the first independent dynasty to set the foundations of the late medieval Sunni Muslim Sultanate of Bengal. Their rule extended from 1342 to 1487, though interrupted by their slaves as well as the House of Ganesha. In 1342 Shansuddin Ilyas Shah occupied the throne of Lakhnauti, he united the three principal kingdoms of Lakhnauti, Sadgaon and Sonar Gong and started the independent Ilyas Shahi rule in Bengal. He also included East Bengal and Kamrup within his territory. At that time, Feroz Shah was the Sultan of Delhi. Feroz captured Pandwa, the capital of Ilyas Shah. After Shamsuddin's death, his son Sikandar Shah ascended the throne. Sikandar ruled for the next 30 years and built the Adina Masjid in Pandwa in 1368 and Kotwali Darwaza in Gauda. Ghyasuddin Azam Shah, son of Sikandar Shah succeeded the throne and established friendly relationships with the Ming Empire of China and encouraged trade. During his reign, Ma Wan, a Chinese traveler visited Bengal. In 1415, political confusion and weakness of the Ilyas Shahi dynasty led to it being overthrown by slave Shehabuddin Bayazid Shah's family and the house of Ganesha shortly after. After his death, his son Jadu assumed the title of Jalal ad-Din Muhammad Shah. He was succeeded by his son, Shams ad-Din Ahmad Shah. Ahmad was killed by his nobles in 1436 in an attempt to restore the Ilyas Shahi dynasty. After the death of Shams ad-Din Ahmad, the rule of the Ilyas Shahi dynasty was restored by Mahmud Shah, a descendant of Shamsuddin Ilyas Shah, who ascended the throne in 1437 as Nasiruddin Mahmud Shah I in 1487. The last ruler of this dynasty Jalal ad-Din Fatih Shah was killed by his Habshi commander of the palace guards, Shahzada Babak, who ascended the throne under the title, Sultan Babak Shah. With this, the Ilyas Shahi dynasty's rule over Bengal came to an end.